I'm excited for Amsterdam. What? Oh, okay. I'm spending four <laughs> days in Amsterdam. I'm spending four days. I'm just getting a fucking. I'm getting an Airbnb. Yeah, and I'm partying fucking balls. Really? I wish Leanne would be cool with me cheating on her internationally. You know? Yeah. If she could just get her head around it, like I love her. She's my chick. I'm yeah. never gonna. I'm coming home to her every night. Just not those four nights in Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Because this is what she does. This is what she fucking does. So I go. I'm thinking. Are you going to go to red light district? Is that what you're? Oh yeah, right, 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 right. I'm going blue light district also. Yeah. So, uh, but I said, I said, let's get prostitutes. Not. <laughs> this is why you are more important to me than she is. You're still listening. You know, she went no, no. I go fucking. I'm talking to my wife at a party. You think I'm really saying I should, I'm going to go fuck a prostitute? I go let's get prostitutes as like a, a skit. And figure out something we all have to do with our prostitute and who does it the best. Whether it's tell them a story or 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 get them to go to sleep fastest. Whatever the fucking thing is that you do, I go make it fun with it. Like let's not all just go fuck prostitutes. I went uh, I went to a sex club when I was there. Where did you go? Because uh, I might not let you tell your story. I talk excited I am about my story. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where did you go? I don't know the name of it. I was going to the red. I got I got you know kind of redirected sort of hosed by a kickback situation where the cab driver we we're going to the red light district and he was like you want to go there he's like you want to go to the banana room one of, one of these like private clubs we went, banana room banana room we went it was it was just a, a house of prostitutes uh it was just like a brothel basically and there's a bar downstairs and banana and banana and bar banana and bar i went with uh potter and i was like i'll pay for what a waste of money you can't see anything who takes him to a strip club? Well, he, he better be able to touch and feel. Well, is a pro he wouldn't have had sex with her, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, are yeah. you serious? Yeah. Oh, wait, this story's getting so much better. Yeah, yeah. I uh I paid. I, I was like, whatever you want. Yeah. And then they could not get over that I wasn't going up to the room with one. So like the owner was like, Hey, your friend he's like, Do you want me to bring over other girls? I was like, No, I'm fine. I'll just he was like, What? I was like, I'll, I'll just wait till he's done. He's like and then you'll come how? Yeah, he was like, uh, and then like he would send a girl over, and I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm just waiting for my friend. And they were like, oh, do you want the other girl? And I was like, no, I'm I'm literally waiting. Yeah, I go, I paid whatever the I paid an entrance fee. I was like, I'll just sit here. I was drinking a diet coke. I was like, I'm fine. Oh. And I just sat there and I was like, just waiting and waiting. And then uh, yeah, he has he, a hard time coming too, right? He can't. Yeah, yeah. So fucked up. He can't come with a chick. He's got to handle it himself. I mean, it's all psychological, though, man. It's not like it's not a physical thing that's holding him. I can him hear up. Doctor Drew in my head. Well, what's what happens when you're at a young age? <laughs> <by an uncle. laughs> yeah. Dr. Potter was it's is just the hairiest motherfucker. He's very hairy. He's got the hairy shoulders. He was doing shoulder porn. Yeah. Um, I have had a number. Obviously, I told flying dildos as a bit one time. That's a true story, but. We went to the banana bar. The banana bar. Banana, banana. It's a banana bar. <laughs> oh, I see. And uh, but it's the banana and <clears throat> bar. Mm -hmm. And so we shot something for um, Showtime at the banana bar. We did, uh, we spent the whole day and, sh and worked there. So I met all the bouncers and yeah. I, I hung out with all the everyone. It was great. It was a great day. So one day we're flying. I'm flying to Tanzania, and I get sidebar to the story, which is really interesting. As I checked into the flight to Amsterdam, because so we had to lay over in Amsterdam, the lady said, your seat is the most interesting seat that we have on planes. I said, what do you mean? She said, you're in seat 1A. This is a double-decker plane, and you will be able to see directly out the front of the plane because of the pilot's Configuration of it. Yeah. The, 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 I had the very front seat, the single front seat, and my window was at the front of the plane. And I was like, I am trading that out right now. I cannot sit there like an eagle and fly to Amsterdam. So I traded with someone and they're like, you serious? And I was like, I do not, I cannot sit there. I want to sit on the top deck. I would rather be in the top deck and not see anything. Yeah. So we get, we get stuck in Amsterdam. I'm with a, my, my camera person. Her name's Laura. La, you know, when people do that with their yeah. hands. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking shit. Just it's Laura. So I, know, I remember I went to college with a girl named Mary Lynn. Are you going to interrupt all my stories? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> 
Wait, her name was Mary Lynn. Yeah, and I, I was like, "Hey, Mary," and she was. It snapped. She was like, "It's Mary Lynn." I was like, so, "Sure, sure." I pronounce it cunt. The, <laughs> the so Laura. I fucked her name. I fucked her name up as long. She's a cool. Laura. It sounds like a real Spanish lady. No blonde hair, blue eyes. Looks a lot. But like, I mean, that's how that's how you say Laura in Spanish. You say Laura. Yeah. I don't know. She's like a real spick. You say. <laughs> Laura. Laura. Yeah. Laura. Yeah. So <laughs> we both get stuck in Amsterdam and I said to her, I said, uh, what do you want to do tonight? We should go out, have dinner or something, go get a nice steak. I said, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. Uh, I'd like to stop by a, a cafe, get some weed, get high, have a steak, and uh, maybe go get a late night cocktail and then call it a night, get up early, we'll fly to Tanzania. She says, I, there's a place called the Banana Bar. I said, I know it really well. She goes, I want to go to the banana bar. This is uh, who's saying this? My La- camera person, okay. Laura. And so she she goes, uh, I said, well, I know the guy's there. We can go there. I said, but you know what it is, right? Like they put a banana in their pussy and then you eat it out of their pussy. And she's like, uh, no, I know exactly what it is. I've wanted to do this. I've heard about this. I heard it's crazy. I said, yeah. And then she's like, they shoot stuff out of their pussies. And, and I said, well, yeah, but like, I go, I got to be honest with you. We do have a working relationship, and technically, I think I was a producer on Trip Flip at the time. Yeah, and I was like, I am technically your boss. I gotta like, I don't know how that works. Yeah, and she was like, Hey, what are you a bitch? She goes, Let's go to the fucking banana bar, and I was like, Ah, oh, that's what I like, right? So we got yeah. high as shit. We have a great steak dinner. We go to the banana bar. We're high as we smoke a joint outside the banana bar. We roll up, and the dudes at the front are like the machine, and I go, Fuck yeah! We go in. I said, My friend Laura wants to do uh, the banana bar experience, and they're like, uh, They're like, Cool. So they set us up private room, like uh, like off to the side oh, oh, bar. Girl comes up naked on the bar, sits on the bar, and she goes, "This is how it works. Uh, we do the three part the thing for the banana bar. We do the do do the whole body touch a feel massage. You rub me up with oil oil all over. We do the banana bar experience where you eat the banana out of my pussy, and then we do a nice facial massage. And I go, uh, well, we're not doing the." rub your body with oil because I, I don't think I can do that with my coworker. That's fucking weird. Yeah. And she's a chick and she's, I think she was married. I'm married. And I'm like, we'll skip that. And Laura's like, I want to do the fucking banana experience. And she, and I was like, all right, cool. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I go, but I wouldn't, I'm pretty fucking high. And I just had a steak and I was like, I wouldn't mind a facial massage. She's like, okay, well then we'll start with the facial massage. Just skip the body touch. And we just do the facial massage. She goes, lay back onto the bar lay back close your eyes and so i lay back back onto the bar close my eyes and she puts her pussy on my nose and starts rubbing it and i'm like and i hear laura laura laughing and she goes you thought it was a massage and i'm laughing so hard into her asshole her pussy's (laughs) on my nose her asshole's on my mouth and i'm going and she can't fucking and i'm just shaking and shaking and shaking (laughs) <laughs> she gets done and I was like I was like that I couldn't stop fucking laughing. Oh my but yeah, God. I'm going back to the banana bar. <laughs> I'll do the massage thing now, right? Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave. 